As an audiologist, my main role um, is to evaluate and diagnose hearing loss. Um, that occurs through birth, through geriatric populations, and to help come up with effective management treatments for that. There is no cure for hearing loss, therefore we're looking at assistive devices, you know, different devices, hearing aids, technology, to be able to assist that person to achieve the level of communication that they want to have with their friends and family. My interest in audiology started in college. Um, I was taking a class in communication disorders, which includes speech disorders, hearing disorders, um, and I found that the hearing disorder portion of that interested me a little bit more. It's very common, it affects a lot of people. At that time, my grandparents, now my parents, and it's just a very interesting field that we're able to help people improve the quality of life by improving how they're able to hear. My practice consists of any, any range of ages, starting from birth all the way up to geriatric population. Um, my main focus would be on more of the adult geriatric population. Um, obviously hearing loss is more common amongst adults than it is children, um, but we're happy to see anybody. Patients come to see us in a variety of ways. Either they're referred to audiology by, let's say, their primary doctor, their pediatrician, um, just because the patient has raised concerns, um, or sometimes the patient themselves will just take initiative and say, you know what, I'm not hearing as well. My family's telling me I'm not hearing well. It's time to get things checked out. As an audiologist, I can function very independently, meaning I can see patients on my own patients that were not referred from anybody else. Um, but then also, a lot of our patients have other issues. So for example, a patient that we see with hearing loss may also suffer from chronic ear infections. Therefore, we work in combination with the ear, nose, and throat physician to manage their treatment. Um, that collaboration happens a lot with our pediatric population. Obviously, we want that medical diagnosis as well as the audiological diagnosis.